possible. You can have your underwear on or off. Um, she said everything off, so I said <laughs> perfect. No, that's great. Right. That's right. what I want. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Did the right thing. <laughs> and yeah, you are not having any contractions that we're picking up on the monitor. So. And did you get prenatal care anywhere aside from Kayanta or just there? Just Kayanta. Okay. as you are, just bring your knees kind of outward to the sides, okay? And I know you already know, but you're gonna feel cold and pressure. Just take some good deep breaths kind of in and out. And as I said before, if you need a break for any reason, just say stop and I go, okay? Do you feel ready? Yeah. Okay. So you're just gonna feel my hands first, just right on the outside. You're at a fairly decent starting point. Um, have you given any thought to whether or not you feel okay with the balloon, or does that sound like too um, horrible? Does it hurt inserting that? So, if you could get through the exam, it's just going to be like I don't want to say five seconds. It'll be like max a minute longer than the exam. So basically, the way we put it in. Is same thing as when I was checking you, except instead of me just getting to the opening of your cervix, you put that little tiny tube through, and then you're gonna feel pressure as the balloon's kind of inflating. So it's a little bit crampy. Um, if you wanted to have pain medicine for the insertion yes. procedure, we could definitely do that. Um, so whether it be the nitrous or IV medicine, you can have either of those for the insertion, um, if you're open to that. Yeah. I, okay. With pain medicine, right? Okay. Sure. No, way. don't trust me. I'd be in your same boat. <laughs> um, yeah. Do you have a preference for if you want to use the the mask or the IV? I'll just do the IV. Okay. And that. Um, I had a question. I didn't yeah. Know about it. I'm yeah. so sorry. That's okay. Um, if I remember, I'll, I'll okay. <laughs> yeah, so basically the way we put it in is literally just like an exam where I find your cervix again, I just put the catheter in, have to hold it there, and then um, the nurse will kind of fill up the very top part, which is a really thin tube at first, and then it'll inflate into that balloon. So as soon as um, the balloon is inflated, it'll stay in there until your cervix is at least three, like a good three, four centimeters and they'll fall out. You can absolutely still get up and use the restroom or get up and walk around when you have it in because um, it will just fall out when it's ready to come so out. So that one, I remember what I was going to say, that one's more natural than the pitocin. Okay, so that one, okay. it's better to use it later. So we can actually use it at the same time. Mm -hmm. So um, the kind of nice thing about the balloon is it puts the pressure on your cervix. Mm -hmm. The pitocin will help your body to kind of start getting ready to have some contractions. So with the pitocin plus the balloon, that combination can work really well. Okay. So if we start the pitocin at a really low dose while you're on the balloon, it should be really effective by the time the balloon falls out. Hopefully, you'll be at least you know a good four centimeters or so. At that point, then we can really start bumping up the pitocin. Um, you absolutely got it. Um, in terms of the pain medicine through the IV, I know that when you came in, you were telling me as well that you're kind of tired. Do you want something then that's going to be a little bit longer acting to also maybe give you a little bit of a nap after? 
Or do you want just something short acting for now? Maybe short acting. Okay. So I can definitely get you some pain meds. Um, and it works pretty quickly. So within five, ten minutes after you get the pain meds, you can do that. I can say I can walk with um, so you can walk with any of the pain medicine, but I would say wait in bed for a little bit, just because sometimes it can make you a little dizzy or drowsy. So we don't want you like getting right up and like, you know, charging around the halls or anything like that if you're a little bit dizzy. So you can certainly get up and walk after you have it. I would just wait at least 15, 20 minutes okay. just so that you know how you feel first. Okay. Sound good? Yeah. Okay. So um, I'll let your nurse know and we'll get all of that situated for you. Okay. Any other questions? Um, I am a little tired. I'll just get the other one um, instead of the, the short dosage. Just the nitrous? No. The, you said there's a short. There's one that's short acting that lasts like 30 minutes to an hour kind of pain medicine. I'll get the short one. The short one? <laughs> yeah. Other option would be like one that would last like maybe two to three hours. I'll get the short Okay. Until well, my pain gets really severe. I'll... Okay. <laughs> it's, it's completely up to you. If you wanted something, like I said, that's longer acting, you would have the option to kind of take a nap at first, which where you're at right now, like this is gonna be a marathon, not a sprint, right? Mm -hmm. So you might also not wanna get up and like go crazy, like trying to get labor going right, right, right away, because you may wanna wait till the contractions are getting a bit more intense. Yeah. So if you want something even longer acting right now, just to make sure that you're like resting, mm -hmm. sometimes that can be good too. That way by the time you wake up, as the contractions are getting a little stronger, at that point, you're not going to be like super drowsy, and you could absolutely get up and move around. Too. That makes sense too. So, I mean, there's there's no right or wrong answer. It's just your the long one. The long one. Okay. I think that is completely reasonable. So, um, again, you might not have like the best sleep of your life. You might still yeah. be waking up with some cramps and stuff like that. <laughs> but um, you should at least be able to take a little nap, which I would encourage you know, right at the beginning, just because. You don't want to waste all your energy right now while things are still on the early side either. Okay. Okay. And if you would like, that is like a big pull-out um, couch kind of thing. We can get you blankets and sheets and stuff like that as well if you want to take a nap if well while she's resting. Yeah. Okay. And we have warm blankets if you're cold in this room. Sometimes this room does get a little chilly, so let us know if you're cold. Okay. Okay. Yeah, what did she say? Three. Three? Three and a half, almost four. Three and a half, almost four. All right.